even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. My favorite part about the trip to Washington, D.C. was of the Holocaust. It was absolutely terrible how the Germans treated the Jewish people. And so I realized that between what we learned in class from books and how, or what we saw in the museum was so completely different. In class, the book was very, very basic. But the museum, when we went there, they went so much more in depth on the details. And the reason why I like the museum so much is because it showed so much more. Uh, it showed more of the people being killed. It showed the terrors of the Holocaust and how Jewish people died. There are so many people who starved to death and they, have, they had to do so many different things in order to survive. There was maybe over 10 million people, Jewish people, who died. And that's terrifying to me. The other thing I liked was the African American History Museum. I was so infatuated with that. I got so lost in everything there. I Seriously, once I got into the museum, I just let loose and was going everywhere. Uh, in history class, we do read a bit about African American history. Um, I would say it's more basic basic information but when we went to the museum i have to tell you there were like so many pictures there was documentation there was proof of the history how it started and so many things that they used and the people there they some people did die uh, due to hunger or abuse or there are many different things that you could really learn about the, the culture of black African Americans. The Natural History Museum um, or of African Americans was really important. The last few years we've talked about um, Black Lives Matter movement and students are seeing that on social media. Teachers really care about this topic and are discussing it in the classroom with them as well. So they are aware of it and they know that's going on, but to actually go into this museum and they saw the history um, in this museum was a lot different than just talking about this or looking at on this in social media or discussing in the class classroom. The museum had a timeline of the moment when slavery began, um, slaves being bought and put on ships and brought over to the, uh, to the Americas. That happened so long ago, so for them to see these pictures on the timeline and make these connections um, and see that um, justice is still needing to be brought today even, that was a huge connection for them. I really loved going around to the museums and seeing all the animals and dinosaurs and rocks. Uh, that was my favorite part, just seeing everything, all the cool artifacts, the Natural History Museum. I loved that. It was so cool just to see everything. So I went to the Capitol, we got to look around. I saw different paintings that were just so beautiful and just so colorful, it was amazing. So I went to Gallaudet University and just toured around the campus. There was this statue about Alice. And she's a deaf person. And it was just really cool just to see everything. It was beautiful. And the other thing that I really enjoyed about the trip was the basketball game. We went and watched um, a basketball game at Gallaudet and it was so cool. They won and it was so much fun. On the trip, we had to work together. We had to get on the metro together. We learned how to navigate around the city in Washington, D.C. And we did everything as a group. We traveled together. We communicated with each other. We learned so much more about the city and the museums. We had to work together as a team and it was, it was great. My favorite things about the trip to DC was the dinosaurs and going on a tour with a bunch of my friends. We went to Gallaudet and we went onto that campus and took a tour. I was able to see a lot of their different classes, a typing class, there was YouTube, there was Facebook, there was foods, um, a lot of those different classes and I really liked it.